In section 5.8, we're going to look at some different types of variation. And we have mainly direct, which is of the form y is equal to k times x to the n, where k is called a constant of variation, so it'll just be some number. And we could read this as y varies directly with, or is proportional to, the nth power of x. Uh, an example of an equation with direct variation is y is equal to 5x. And we can see how if we rearrange the equation, we get y over x equals 5. And so a proportion involving this ratio of 5 could also help us find an unknown value of x or y. Okay, inverse variation is of the form y is equal to k divided by x to the n. And we could read this as y varies inversely or is inversely proportional with the nth power of x. If you will see an equation of this form, y is equal to 3 over x, or alternatively, the product of x and y is equal to 3. Now we can see as one of the variables gets larger, say x is um, first 1 compared with an x value of 10, that the y value is decreasing as x gets bigger. And then the third type is a combination of direct and inverse, and it's called joint variation. It's of the form y is equal to k times x to the n times z to the n, where y is said to vary directly with the nth powers of x and z, or y is equal to k times x to the n over z to the n, where y varies directly with the nth power of x, but inversely with the nth power of z. So an equation of the form y is equal to 2x squared z is an example of joint variation, or y is equal to 2x squared divided by z. So let's take a look at some examples. Suppose distance traveled varies directly with time, and after 30 minutes, you've traveled 24 miles. Write a variation equation and determine the distance traveled after 50 minutes. Since distance traveled varies directly with time, we're going to use the first type of variation equation. So it is one variable is equal to k times another or a power of another. In this case, d equals k times t as distance varies directly with time. After 30 minutes, you've traveled 24 miles. So we're going to substitute uh, 24 for d, which is a distance, and 30 for t, which is a time. And solve this for k, the constant of variation. And we get k is equal to 0.8. Okay, so now if we're asked to write the variation equation, here it is. d is equal to 0.8 t. And lastly, we want to determine the distance traveled after 50 minutes. Okay, so 50 minutes is a time, and we have our formula, so we're going to substitute 50 for t, and that gives us 40 miles. Number two, suppose the number of gallons of gasoline you can afford on a budget varies inversely with the cost per gallon. You can afford 15 gallons at a price of $2 per gallon, and we want to write a variation equation and determine the number of gallons you could purchase at $2.25 per gallon. Okay, so the number of gallons, we'll say n, you can afford varies inversely. So we know that we're going to have division in this equation. So we'll say k divided by with the cost per gallon. Okay, so k over c. 
and you can afford 15 gallons at a price of $2 per gallon. So in this equation, N is 15 and C is 2. And we solve this equation for k to get the constant of variation. And so multiply both sides by 2, and we find that k is 30. So our variation equation is n equals 30 divided by c. And lastly, we want to know how many gallons we could purchase for 225 per gallon. So 225 is a cost. So we'll substitute 225 for C and evaluate. So 30 divided by $2.25 is approximately 13.3 gallons. To give us an idea of what the shape of this graph looks like, um, I've just plotted some tick marks on each axis, and we're just going to do some basic substitution. So when C is 1, the cost is 1, that we could afford uh, 30 gallons of gas. Um, if the cost is 2, then we could afford 15. And if the cost is 3, we could afford 10 we'll get this curve-shaped graph that looks something like this. It's definitely a decreasing function.